it's time to meet the motorbikes that we are going to be spending the next six days on and check out the support wagon. That is a trailer jacked up, ready for the Icelandic Highlands. Oh my. Yes, garage full of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're talking. Viking beer and motorbikes in Iceland. This is going to be a good trip. Here is day one, meeting the guys. Awesome crew of people. There's going to be five of us on the guides and the wagon supporting us. We are ready to get up and get out to the Iceland. Check out my ride. So we are all kitted up. We've got Enduristan bags, tank bags for my phone and stuff, each of my levers. Everything feels pretty amazing. It's actually the first time I've ridden a 701, so I'm quite excited. They are big bikes if you look at my feet. But Reaching the ground is totally overrated. We don't need to touch the ground when we're riding along. <laughs> Iceland has some incredible twisty roads so we've just done the first little bit of the trip on some roads and we've got to biggest natural lake in Iceland it's a light drizzle Icelandic way and uh, all the bikes going well stopped for a bite to eat and right now we're on the European tectonic plate but we have been riding on the American tectonic plate so you see that big ridgeway up there that is where the tectonic plates are colliding and Iceland is actually growing by two centimetres or two and a half centimetres every year. It's pretty cool, eh? <laughs> I am so happy right now. I can't believe I'm in Iceland riding motorbikes. <laughs> massive sort of volcano basin. This is wilderness sinkage. Yeah! Water! <laughs> How cool is that? Oh yeah, I needed it. <laughs> the terrain out here is just amazing. I was kind of expecting slightly more kind of fire tracky vibes, but Oh my god, it's rocky, sandy, ratty, rocky, dreary. Oh man, it's just incredible. It's amazing, we're in the middle of nowhere, and then the electricity network, which is across the island, all from natural <sighs> sources. Oh, and there's a glacier. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, hair. Up there, up uh, there, that white bit. Oh, it's a bit too close on my face, sorry. Oop. 
That's the third biggest glacier in Iceland, apparently. Okay, we're at Giza. Any moment, we're gonna hope to get on camera. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, that was quite a small one. That was okay. They they can it can do bigger. We're gonna keep watching. terrain and now we are in like the most beautiful dry warm presented tourist shop it's cool you get like a mix of rugged Iceland on motorbikes and a bit of the tourism so the geezer and in the last half an hour maybe because it's rather wet but wow one of the best days riding ever look at the review out in Iceland with Ride of Locals and day one is now down. It has been a really wet day and it's not disappointing right now, but thankfully in the right gear, you are warm and toasty, so it's all good. We have stopped for the night in a mountain hut. So all the bikes are parked up. If we look this way, you can see the hut that we are staying in. It is all warm and toasty in there. And over there, we've got showers and toilets which again are super warm and toasty. And this is the most mind blowing part. Have you seen a glacier in real life up front? Look this way. Over in the background, that is a full on glacier. Like you see this stuff in the movies and we have ridden off road Husqvarna 701 motorcycles pretty much to the bottom of a glacier hut for the night. Absolutely incredible. Okay, here is my trusted steed for the seven days. Now, as you can tell by the weather right now, it's pretty wet in Iceland and it hasn't disappointed today. So we've got Enduristan panniers luggage, which means we can have spare clothing. It's pretty cold, but when you're hitting some of the Enduro kind of style terrain, it gets pretty warm as well. So it means that we've got some dry places to uh, to put our kit and my first time on a 701 actually, I've really, really enjoyed it. Beautiful bikes and the terrain out here, we've done 240 kilometers today with just a crazy variation in terrain. So one minute you're in like a lava field and then you've got sand and then you've got these huge boulders and rocks that you're buzzing over. Absolutely incredible. And there's a glacier right there. What more could you wish for? This is full on adventure, enduro, anyone who loves motorcycles, land heaven, really. Yeah. Ta -da! Ta -da! Yes! <laughs> Dinner is served. Oh, yes. After an insanely wet day one, check out what we've woken up to.
thought I should give you a tour of the mountain hut. So this is our room, we're really lucky, you guys. Let's have our own room. It's Rocky Monster. And out here, we have the drying room. So we've got loads of wet kit and a nice big radiator, but you kind of, hi, except that you were a little bit wet out in Iceland, but it's part of the fun. And then we have the main room where we've got breakfast laid up. Hey guys. Hello. And this is sort of a big sleeping room as well. Got loads of comfortable beds and panoramic views in every direction, including the glacier. But that is what I'm excited about right now. Breakfast. I've given up on bothering with bikes or motorbikes. So we just parked up. Woo! Only an ice lake we'd be riding along and then boom! the 4x4s have just caught up with us because we stopped um, stopped to regroup and oh my god we must have been like flat out full throttle across that weight back so buzzing right now and uh, yeah there's the 4x4s again <laughs> we're playing like forward and back catch up it's quite impressive how fast they are <laughs>
went for a swim then. That river, thankfully, buzzed the drone. It's gonna show us how ridiculous that looks, but I didn't get wet. So I'm in Iceland and I found ice! out for about 10 hours in the wilderness today. Feeling pretty tired now, but we've just stopped at a petrol station, hot cup of tea and a refuel. And it's now the last little leg back to our cabin for the night. Awesome day riding. Woohoo! Oh, 11 hours out on the bike. We've landed in like a little bit of wood log cabin heaven. Check out the fire. Warm up the toes on that. Uh, we are right next to Hecla, so hopefully she's not going to explode tonight. She is going to rub tonight, of course. Uh, <laughs> Hecla is going to rub tonight. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> but check out the lovely cabin. How cool is this? It's different from like, like beef or whatever, but it's unreal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this stuff. We're all getting kitted up for day three riding. It's going to be a pretty wet day today, I think, so I'm really glad I've got some good waterproofs and I've put on an extra base layer. So let's hit day three. So out in the craziness of the Icelandic rugged landscape the bikes take a bit of a battering which is why it's very good to go with a company that have a mechanic and a support wagon uh, because this is the sacrificial lamb who has uh, overnight been pretty much eaten by Uli for parts I am pretty excited. We have just stopped and we are about to see the biggest waterfall in Iceland. <laughs> okay, are you a Viking? Are you a Viking? Yes, I'm a Viking! <laughs> We're sat having a protein bar and a coffee. Can you rock up in the middle of the mountains on motorbikes and find a hot spa swimming pool? Mind blown. The most important item of the day is in the panniers. Bikini! Um, so this is a disused swimming pool, which means there's like these crazy little locker rooms. Uh, Rocky Monster's behind me. You decent? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting changed and then we're gonna walk out of the changing room dun, dun, dun. back into the mountains bearing in mind i'm in a bikini now it's pretty cold uh and then <gasps> there's the spa yeah okay how hot is it holy 
Oh my god, I don't know if I can get in that. <laughs> That's boiling. spring up there and it's been piped down into this concrete basin so basically a few years ago there was a, a quarrying concrete company just down the road there's a few power plants and they had some excess concrete and decided to pour in a pool for all of the employees uh, and it was sort of a functioning pool so there's you know little shed lockers and everything and now it is a hidden gen of Iceland and you've got to come ride with Ride the Locals if you want to know where it is. have ridden the motorbikes up to Volcano Mouth, uh, Heart Hole, whatever. We're um, obviously hoping it's not going to go up. Only in ice. Riding with Ride with Locals and oh my god, we, we've been like in volcanoes, it's insane. Um, what's it called, Hecla, the one that shut down European aerospace in 2010. Yeah, we just casually cruised around that on a motorbike. Okay, <laughs> hopefully she's not going to have a little bit of a party overnight because we are pretty close by. I'm pretty sure that's Hecla right there. Uh, but absolutely amazing day. We've had some sunshine, some river crossings, and the most insane terrain like being on Mars or Jupiter or the moon or some kind of all of them in together. Time for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> 